Okay, so now we've got this uh, new fuel injector. We have lubricated the O-rings, uh, so hopefully that will make inserting these into the uh, top of the intake manifold nice and easy. Uh, the plan is here is to insert all of the fuel injectors into the manifold and then lower the fuel rails on top of the injectors uh, and seating them properly and then securing the fuel rail back to the top of the manifold. Uh, at least that's the plan. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, the very last part for me will be um, last part will be uh, connecting the elect making the electrical con electrical connections back to the fuel injectors. So I'll try and hold this camera. Um, I'm not going in any particular order right now. I think I'm going to start for the purposes of this video with uh, cylinder number three, just because that's easy to get at. Uh, and I'm going to lift up the fuel rail a little bit. Let's see if I can get some better light on this first. You can see what we're doing. I don't know if you can see that, but down there that is the opening for the number three cylinder. You can also see down there there's a little plastic clip that uh, I don't think I broke that one. No, I did break that one. Somebody else broke the others. Uh, all the electrical connectors have two clips on them, thank goodness. Uh, so when you break uh, you break one, you have a little bit of a backup plan there. Uh, so we're going to go down here. i got to lift that fuel rail out of the way a little bit. Now, all of these electrical connections do point to the outside of the motor. Do not direct them towards the inside, otherwise you'll be hating yourself later. So we're just rocking this into place. And uh, I think we're good to go there. It doesn't take a whole lot of force to get that in. Just a little rock, a little bit of twist, goes right in. And you can see it seats right... The metal of that fuel injector is pretty much just about right up against the manifold there. You don't want to. You don't need to jam it all the way down in there. It doesn't go that far. You just you've achieved the seal with the O-ring, and then once you get the fuel rail down on top of that injector, um, you'll achieve a seal on the fuel fuel rail side. And then once you cinch the whole thing into place, you'll have uh, hopefully a, a tight seal where you'll have no fuel leaks. So I'm going to go repeat this process uh, another seven times to get all the injectors in there, and uh, we'll see you here in just a moment.